Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Grandmaster Nightfall Ordeal, which is the Arms Dealer. Now, I haven't really done many of these runs because I haven't really seen the point in doing Grandmaster Nightfall solos. There are, uh, you don't really get anything for doing it. And I'm just not a fan of the title. The Conqueror is it's a pretty bad, pretty bad title. But I figured that since it was here, I might as well do this one. I've got a bit of a history with it. So as you can see, there's loads of different modifiers just to make this thing really, really difficult. Even more so because we're restricted to using either SMG, sidearm or hand cannon to take down barriers that basically wipe you from across the map. Now, I'm doing this on the Warlock. Surprise, surprise. Void Walker. Because of the grenade. That, there's no other way to say it. The super is fantastic, but the grenade is going to really bail us out. That chaos and accelerant, being able to charge the grenade. I'm going to synergize it with Controverse Holds, obviously, and a high uh, grenade recharge rate. So, Vortex Grenade, Burst Glide, and Healing Rift. And that's what we're going to be using there. I'm going to be using the Service Revolver. Simply because it's got timed payload, which will give us just a little bit extra damage. Uh, obviously, double hand cannon. Brilliant. Unstoppable. We'll be using that. Uh, and, and it can create Warminder Orbs, which is... I don't utilize them properly in here, but it's still a good thing. I think I've got a couple of mods on that are really good. Ariana's Vow, because why wouldn't you? It's not just for breaking barriers. It's also really good for just doing DPS. A lot better than the the, the seventh serif, uh, service revolver. Although that done pretty decent damage from range. As you can see, I've got the catalyst, so I can store it and get the, the reload. Plus, it's got nine in the mag. If you don't have it, it'll eventually go into the drop pool. You'll get it. Apex Predator, which is the last wish raid rocket launcher. It's got tracking module, auto loading holster, which is really, really good. And it's also got impact casing, so it's basically spike grenades for rocket launchers. It does more damage on impact. You can get this from the last wish. I have a video on my channel on how to get that kind of weapons and those kind of weapons and armor for free. So check out that video. I'll probably link it at the end of this. And that's the weapon loadout that I'm going to be using. Very, very good. Uh, lots of solar damage because solar damage is increased. So that 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 is the best kind of weapon setup that I found to do this. And also, I kind of worked this out Wednesday. That this was the way I was going to do it in this video. It just never really, never really happened on Thursday. Uh, global reach. So. Warmind orbs that you produce when you shoot them, they've got a wider blast radius. And it really is. It's insane how, how much blast radius it's got. Bomber. I do actually have advanced bomber. Enhanced, not advanced. Enhanced bomber, but I couldn't put it on because in the energy cost. Basically, when I use my rift, I get a boost to my... I, I get a, an amount of my grenade immediately. Enhanced ashes to assets. More super on grenade kills. Going to be using my grenade a lot. And a discipline mod, because why wouldn't you? Boots, I've got heavy ammo scavenger and rocket launcher scavenger. Now, looking at this, I actually changed the wrong one. Should have had special ammo scavenger. But it didn't seem to bother me too much. There was a couple of times I picked up bricks and got 13, so pretty decent. Double hand cannon reserves, obviously, to get the 30 Ariana. Uh, rounds and power of rasputin which is basically if you produce an orb a warm mind orb you do more damage to any ads that are around that so that is fantastic utilize that most definitely controverse holds with discipline mod fastball and light arms loader light arms loader because well we're using double hand cannons so why wouldn't you use that and the controverse basically it's like one in every three grenades. You just get your grenade straight back. And I'm quite used now to f using fastball. Special, special ammo, heavy ammo finder with a minor resist. Now, I actually did have a major resist on. I didn't have one on during the run. I took it off, but I kept the minor resist on because I felt that was important. All in all, this was the best loadout that I found to do it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. On with the show.
So as soon as you start the strike, you want to charge your grenade. Throw on these ads. You want to kill the two incenders and the two scions. Then you've got an unstoppable and a barrier champion. We're going to try and bait the unstoppable to come and chase us, right? So there's the unstoppable there, but there was still another incender. As you can see there, that's him dead. We won't... The, the unstoppable will hide around the corner. You want him to get eyes on you, and the minute he sees you, he'll start firing like flame at you. Here he comes. We want to stop him right at that explosive barrel. Hit him, change straight away to what Ariana's, put five shots, and then get behind here. Now, you'll see his antlers are kind of shining. The minute they stop shining, we can stop him again. The, the antlers shining... Is, is kind of the note that that tells you you can't stop him again so what we're going to do with this barrier is charge a grenade on him rock it and then ch change to Ariana and we're going to try and break his shield three crisp headshots breaks it and then obviously with apex predators reloaded because of the auto loading holster same as Ariana so we're going to use this pillar as a kind of a base of operations so Get another rocket on him. Leave it for a couple of seconds. That's why I charge the grenade. Give your Ariana's bow a chance to reload. And then three good headshots if you can hit them. And now what I've decided to do. I'm not going to waste any more ammo. Put a couple more on him and finish him. So that's his first room. And as I've, as I've already said. This is not easy. This is a difficult, this is a difficult strike. Difficult activity. Anything can kill you pretty quickly. So when we get out here. Obviously, we're going to be getting grenades thrown at us. There's going to be a ship. I'm not going to bother trying to take the ship down, although you can if you want. I'm going to first off put a grenade into the middle and then get back around here. This is our safe spot until we clear the three kind of main waves of ads. The first one is this wave down at the bottom just there. The second one is there's a wave of elites that come round to us. And the third one is there's a wave of just normal ads right across from us there's three or four of them they they are they are the the tricky ones as you can see there i just put a, a rocket in it never killed anything really got a scion but might have weakened some other enemies but we're waiting for grenades grenades are your friend so you can see i just changed they will do this that's why we're, we're going to have this as well base of operations i switched there from my 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 energy weapon from from Ariana's to my primary because ammo consumption is your it is your enemy. You will not be able to get enough enough special or enough heavy. Minute you stop dropping special and heavy, this run could get even more difficult, if not impossible. So I'm trying to, you know, as you can see, I had a, a brick of special on the left. That's when I'm starting to use special. When I know I've got an abundance of it. So we've got my grenade. We'll toss it down there on those ads. Try and clear them. Because they, they'll be constantly firing. Not just grenades. But kind of really heavy duty solar. Kinda, they almost look like rockets. But they're not quite as, as uh, potent as rockets. But that's what they look like. Scions can one hit you. So the minute you know it's a scion around. Prioritize the scion. You can see the work the grenade does. I mean, it took out seven or eight ads easily. You've also got a champion down there. Now, you've got a, a heavy-duty a heavy duty centurion, an elite centurion, and an elite scion. I'm just picking up some ammo. We know we're getting pushed. We're getting pushed by the, the unstoppable. Just stop him right there. Now, I'm just going to put my usual five or six Arianas into him. I like to I like to finish the unstoppables. The the unstoppables from the Cabal are, are probably the easy sads, the easiest champions to deal with. They they really aren't. So you see, I, I got the I got the the yellow circle above his head, so that means I'm finishing him. And I'm just dropping grenades right at the back to take care of, try and weaken the ads that are at the back there. The 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 two elites. <clears throat> now there's <clears throat> there isn't any. There isn't any radar, so line of sight, be very careful. Don't go pushing into the areas you're not sure, you, you know, what's there because you'll die quickly. And that's basically the mantra for this strike. You will die quickly 
if you're not on top of it. You can see me constantly looking about trying to find ammo. We know there's, a, there's the scions down there. <clears throat> We've got to be careful that we don't throw grenades right off the map like that. Because not only do they kill you quickly, they're very tanky. It takes a lot to put these, these enemies down. So once you take the scion down, it's just you and the elite <clears throat> the elite boss guy. We're, we're, we're looking for ammo. Yeah, we're good. We're, we're pretty good for special. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try and and not use much ammo on taking him down. We're good for special. We know we could probably use a couple of special shots, but I am gonna use grenade as much as possible. You need to utilize everything in your your inventory. So that's this area done. Grenades are your friend. So what we're gonna do here. We're going to pick this up, but we're going to leave it. We only want the barrier champion. There, we only got him, so we're going to charge a grenade and throw it where he lands. And we're going to take him first. So this is kind of my kind of standard for taking barrier champions now. is Rocket, Ariana. Now you can see here how much damage the Ariana does on, 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 on an enemy that isn't shielded. So as I say, give it a, give it a ch chance to reload. It is super potent. So once you break the shield, it takes three headshots. Unless you're ranged, and then it could be four or five. Four headshots. But you're not guaranteed to hit headshots every time. So if, if you're ranged, four headshots... Try and put another two shots on her because that it does massive damage and then <clears throat> marry that in with, with your rocket. So as you can see we've got the boss to start with. We left the orb up there. We've got the boss to start with. Now when we pick the orb back up we've got the adds. What we'll get here is these five or six dogs. We've got this ship and we're also going to get some scions. Now what we're going to do because we know we've got a brick of heavy. I put a couple of rockets on, and we're just going to... The hand cannon does good damage against this ship. We know we've got another... The reason we've been a little bit ammo, you know, ammo conservationist at the moment is because we've got a barrier champion. Now, I'm going to say this. Barrier champions are the worst enemy in the game. The barrier champions and maybe minotaur overloads, not very nice either. But the, the Cabal Barrier Champions are absolutely, they're just an absolute nightmare. So, keep your distance from them. And they, they do have a range. They will shoot at you if you go, if you go inside their range and then run out. They, they will shoot at you and hit you outside of the range. But they won't attack you. They will not attack you out with... The, the range so what i'm doing now and you'll see me do it in, in quite a few times i'm looking for ammo we need to get as much ammo as possible so <clears throat> this run that i'm doing now i done on stream i've been doing this run since tuesday but i'll speak a little bit more about that towards the end there are sections where we're going to have some time to burn this is where i'm going to take the second barrier champion from now what I'm doing here, you'll see me do it a little bit. I don't, I'm not too bothered if if he, if he puts his shield up. You know, we, I'm not too bothered about that. I want to get rid of the dogs because the amount of times I've thrown an overbomb at him and it's just tracked a singular dog. So you can see there was one dog there. I didn't realise that there were more dogs where that dog was. I thought they'd have all have ran and I'm pretty sure there's another dog there. So, we're letting him put his shield up and we don't want to waste ammo because, as I've said, ammo consumption, big deal. Especially with these barrier champions. You have to get in a rhythm of hitting headshots, rocket, headshots, rocket. So, now that I think I'm clear, I'm going to throw... And there we go. One dog. It's like that guy that does the solo super in Crucible, isn't it? So, we took it, it took a little bit off him. So, what we're going to do... He's, he's opened himself up. 
Now what we're going to do is try and just break his shield with headshots. And then as I say, every time you fire a rocket, make sure you give it a second. Now you can see the head, it, it's, it's, you really have to be hitting headshots to be effective with, with this, with, with this, the Ariana. If you don't hit headshots enough, you literally won't won't kill a barrier champion. And there you can see it's it's very easy if you're hitting those headshots, even if it means taking a, an extra second just to make sure you're lined up on that head. Now there's there are still going to be dogs here. What I always do is I always go up this ramp because there is a part that they 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 uh, they won't follow us. So I always go up this ramp, try and drop a grenade on them. They'll come up so far and then they'll run away. Now, that orb, the orb is dropped, as I'm, I'm sure you guys are aware, the, the orb is dropped because I got a kill with a 7th Seraph weapon. I didn't really use the orbs too much, with just merely that dog, the last of the dogs, just to get, well, nearly the last of the dogs, to get where we grenade back and then rinse and repeat. We're going to hoover for, for ammunition. Now, as when you when you know <clears throat> you've cleared all of the ads, <clears throat> when you know you've cleared all the all the dogs, then go and get this orb. You have to make sure you've cleared all the dogs because they kill you really quickly as well. Surprisingly, unsurprisingly, everything in this strike kills you quickly. It's because they're all twenty five power levels above you, and you've got double hand cannon and rocket launcher. Thanks, Bungie. So. Once, you, once you've got that orb, you're going to come and slam it, same as. And then we're going to charge a grenade and drop it right at that door and take the ads that are coming out. So we're going to jump up. Don't stand on the platform because it's solar, so not going to be a good time. And we're just going to kill this phalanx. And then you're going to get a wave of some ads coming down. You're going to get some elites and an unstoppable. So what I what I done this time... As I tried to take the elites so that they want a problem. Because obviously, I know there's one, there's still one up there. So I'm going to try and put a grenade. Unfortunately, the grenade was too far away from him. Now I can focus on the unstoppable. There is still a phalanx there, surprisingly enough. So sometimes this unstoppable will push you. Sometimes he won't. Now, again, same principles apply when his little antlers stop lighting up. He can be stopped again. And I'm just going to put enough shots like I did in the first room and just finish him. Be careful when you're pushing up here. If you know there's still an ad, be careful. Luckily, I'd already done big damage. Make sure you check your angles because it's not the first time in a run and it's documented because I've been doing this live streaming this, these runs since Tuesday. That I've thought that I'd cleared the area and come up and one ad had just shot me once and I was dead. Really frustrating. So you've got two Scions here and three normal Cabal. So we're going to shoot this exploding barrel. Which will take care of at least one of them. I was lucky that time it took both of them. No it didn't. Unfortunately for him. He just never, if he would have shot... I could have been in trouble because scions will one hit you. But like I said, I, I, I did think to start with that I'd only only killed one of them. So I threw a grenade down to make sure I take out some of these cabal at the bottom, the legionaries. And now we're on to the ramp. I don't bother taking any of the ads. There's nothing extra. It doesn't seem to me. I'd already heard that uh, you got no more rewards for getting platinum. So if the only reason to do this is the triumph is to actually get the, the seal. So you're just looking for a completion. Be careful when you get to this part. As you can see, I'm taking the long way around. Check that there are no legionaries there because they will, as you can see, they've just come up and that's why I'm dodging out the way because they can just, like everything else can, they can melt you. Now, my advice here see where I'm going here I've dropped down 
panicked a little bit because that boss will shoot at you. Always go under here. Don't take the chance. Always go under here, jump up here, and then jump up onto the ramp and just pull your spiral straight away. Make sure you've got a fast, fast call spiral. And that's us. Literally, this is the most... That's probably the difficult part until the boss out the way. This is all about patience. Now, I'm going to explain what I'm doing here, and then we've got a bit of time to talk. Because these are these enemies... There is, there is another way you can do this once the ads go. What we're basically doing is I've got my grenade recharge, as, as I explained, up to just about 80. So I am getting my, my grenades back relatively quickly. I've got Controverse on, which helps me get my grenades. So we're just going to conserve our ammo and take this tank down with grenades. Stay in, in this kind of room and, and, and judge the shots. So when when you hear the tank shooting then you're good you know but always the tank will shot shoot at the last place it's seen you now when i jumped out there i knew the ads were going to eventually the ads do push down here and it's a chance to get some free kills you know so once you see the ads starting to bulk out starting to bulk down here then just save your grenade for the ads and take some of the ads eventually they'll run away and you can go back to taking the tank out but the idea here is take out some of those ads and take the tank with grenades now if you're lucky the tank will stay down the bottom where he is now if you're unlucky then he will push slightly into the left behind the pillar it's not that much more of a problem you just have to navigate navigate your grenade throws over the over the little platform to land on it sometimes you'll see and as you you'll see when i when I throw my next grenade, you'll see sometimes they will they will take uh, they will get big numbers like that one one nine zero one thousand one hundred ninety. That means you've hit a side of the tank that hasn't been broken yet. If you if you get four hundred numbers, then you. So what I'm going to do here just to explain. I stop the unstoppable when I've thrown my, my, my Nova and I get a couple. I got a few. <laughs> so the unstoppable is now going to run away. The reason why I do that is, is, is the only reason I do that is as you can see on the floor, I get, I get ammunition. Every time you throw your grenade, even if the tank moves, come back here because the tank might come back out and the more ticks you get from your grenade with controverse the faster you get your grenade back the more the more uh predictable and the, the size of your recharge most of the time you will get that odd time where you'll you'll be ticking away for a while and you won't get much of your grenade back but most of the time you get a heat back the more it ticks you'll see here again if it ticks for a certain amount of time you see that recharge rate going up it's 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 not that bad at all basically we're going to keep doing this until we take the tank and then we'll go up to where you can see that there's a marker on the screen to the right that shows us where one of the one of the consoles are we're going to go up there and finish the rest of the ads with a mixture of grenades and special before we then we're going to skip all the rest of the champions right we're going to access the once we've accessed that, we're not going to access that that uh, that console. We're going to go and we're going to access the other one. We're just going to go up, make sure none of the barriers are there. Go up, access it, slide off, run all the way around back to here. And then we're going to bring down the second tank. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the second tank. There's a few ads to take out of the second tank, but no champions. So we're skipping the two barriers and the three unstoppable. Now, some people who are watching this might have seen this strategy already and think, oh, he's copied that other strategy. I didn't. This was my strategy. I've been doing this since Tuesday. And Wednesday, th Wednesday, Thursday night, Wednesday, Wednesday night, me and my chat come up with this idea. And I, I well, I come up with the idea, but chat were kind of agreeing with it. That I could just access because I, I wasn't getting shot by the champions. So I figured I could access the other tank 
uh, get the other tank to come out and kill it, and I wouldn't have to deal with any of the champions. I also changed my rocket launcher to an auto loading holster, which, as you can see, is brilliant. And all in the same conversation, all in the same 10 15 minute conversation. And I come up with the. It's not. I never come up with anything. I said that if I get to the boss with the ammo consumption and all the rest of it, the fact that I'm doing it with two hand cannons, I was going to use this particular method that I'd used once before uh, for this strike. And so what a surprise when I woke up next morning seeing that there was another console run using all my strategies. They're not my strategies. You guys understand what I'm talking about. Uh, so I don't come into, don't, please don't come into comments and say that I've copied anybody's run. I haven't. I had this idea before there was any other console runs out. So, once you take down this tank, as I say, we're going to go over to the right. There, there's the tank. We're going to go over to the right. I'm not going to pick, even if you need a little bit of ammunition, don't pick up any of that ammo. Because you're not really going to be using ammo for anything other than the unstoppable. You can see they always kind of bunch up over, over on that side, so... Let's just send them over a little present. And then, basically what we're going to do is exactly the same thing. Grenades are your friend. This is why I'm saying, to, it, for a solo run, this is geared to the Warlock. You know, the hunt I just got the invisibility, which is great. Titan has got a bubble. Not so great, but doable. Uh, Warlock's grenade still still key because it's 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 almost as strong as an Ariana shot. Maybe maybe it is actually stronger over its lifespan than an Ariana shot, but you just keep getting it back. You know, a lot. Of, I've I've noticed a lot of funky things happening in this this uh, this strike. Uh, as I say, I've done a, the the actual run with with the with the chat commentary is on the channel. If anybody's interested in watching, it, I've done all of this live. Did I get to see I done a world's first live? I'm not going to, but I was wondering if I could see that. So the idea is, I'm not really too bothered about any of the other ads. I will take them. They they will die. But this unstoppable will keep coming down here. So I'm not bothered about the barrier champions. I'm only bothered about this last unstoppable. Because he will keep coming down here. He he might push me. Because this is part of his movement. You know, this is part of his patrol zone. As we seen to start with. He came all the way over here. Underneath where we are now. What I'm really more interested in. Is uh, you'll see his antlers. See how they've kind of flashed. They were lit up and then and then they weren't. As long as these antlers are lit up, you can't stun them. You can't stop them. Uh, so you have to wait until they go. So I'm just looking now. You see the barrier champions to the left there hiding. Uh, part of the reason I, I decided to skip them, and you'll see in, in, in the next 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes, I'm going to do the same thing again, but not, not out of... I never planned to do it, so take it as you as you wish. I think it's a I think it's repeatable. I think this strat what I've done so far is repeatable. When I was working these runs out, I got to this point quite a lot, and it became pretty easy to get here. So just jump up here. You see the barriers there, and as soon as I've done that, I slide off. I slide off and then go back underneath. Now. Yep, I turn, once I went back underneath, I've seen an ad drop round, so what I'm going to do is use these pillars on the floor, these stanchions, as cover, and just go all the way around the edge. Because the barrier champions have two attacks. They've always got that big Gatling gun, and then they've got that force projection, whatever. Uh, that force projection has got major range, and it, it hits like a truck. So you don't want to be around when that one, when that one lands. So, 
they will fire at you when you're outside of their, if you're just on the edge of their arc, they'll start firing, maybe get two or three shots off. Uh, and you'll be outside of, the, of, of their attack range. I'm just making sure there's nothing else around before I call this tank. Because the last thing I want is to be in position and have some little legionary come charging at me with a shotgun that can one-two shot me. Calling call this second tank. Now what we're going to do, I've dropped down. And I'm just going to wait. I could have thrown a grenade at the bottom of the platform and done DPS straight away. But we'll move here. Big grenade. Now he will keep a fire rate where he last seen me. So I've moved to a different location. Have two preset locations when you're attacking these tanks. I'm waiting to see if there's going to be another fire. There isn't. And that was the one I missed. I've been throwing grenades at that tank for two days. And that's the one I missed. <laughs> and I missed it doing the run. Which is insane. Now up on top of that platform you've got that tank. So we're, once we get our grenade back we're going to keep popping it with grenades. You've also got an elite uh, centurion. Or a legionary, I can't remember. I always get legionary and centurion mixed up. And then you've got three phalanxes. They need to die before you consider getting onto there. So we've got a grenade, so drop one right on top. Uh, once you kill, I, I, I go for the phalanxes first. I'll jump up on that platform in front of us, and then I'll go for the phalanx. The three phalanxes. Then I'll keep my super, and I'll fire my super over at the... The elite. Once you kill the elite, the dogs will come. Sometimes the dogs wait about to see what's going on, and other times they just see the champions and go, let's go and see them. You know, and just run away. Either way, if they stay, you're going to pop a grenade on them. If they run away, you're just going to go. You're not going to wait. This tank, I mean, I don't know how it looks from here. It took a while to work out where, you know, cool places to go to do this. But this is probably the easiest part of the strike. Once, the first time I got to the boss, I killed the two champions. But they were draining my ammunition to the point when I got to the next room, I had nothing. So, yeah, I, I it's not a repeatable way. It is not a repeatable way for a solo artist to take out the five champions that are up there. Because ammo, the the ammo economy, I think it's bad enough. I'll I'll speak a little bit about my thoughts on the on on the whole grandmaster at the end. There's a few things to speak about at the end. Uh, but I think it's bad that you can feel a run of this difficulty and this alleged magnitude because you've run out of ammo and can't get any more. That is not, that's not skill. I don't think that's skill. Somebody might say in comments, but esoteric doesn't run out of ammunition. Well, we're not all esoteric, are we? And I, I guarantee you, he runs out of ammo as well sometimes. So, that was, that was pretty lucky there. <laughs> so as I say, we're just going to keep doing this, just keep dropping the grenades on top of them. And as I say, the numbers matter. If you're, if you're getting lower numbers, you're hitting a side that's already broke. So you won't be doing as much damage. So it's worthwhile trying to pinpoint a side that, that is broke. That isn't broke, sorry. That you're going to do maximum damage on. So I, I'm going just to the left. And that side seems to be broke. Because I didn't get big enough numbers. But the reason I'm, I'm not really too worried because it's nearly dead. So we'll put it to the, just drop it on the front. There we go. The minute you see that big number. And there we go, there's the tank. So now we're going we're gonna to go after the phalanxes. Once we kill the phalanxes, then we'll put, we're will going to put our super. You see those three? Once we kill those, you normally get two. And then you've got to, got to throw a grenade to get the third. Make sure you jump towards that so that the, the, the Nova doesn't doesn't take a mind of its own 
move and and chase and chase the other phalanx and what will happen quite a lot is you'll hit that that elite and he once you've hit him he then will kind of try to get out the way he will fall off the, the plate he didn't this time and i'm i'm trying i know i've got ammunition i'm trying to conserve my ammo so i'm gonna throw a grenade well, i was gonna throw a grenade until he moved and we'll just try and get back up here and hit, hit him with a couple of arianas. The m problem is, the minute you hit him, he runs away. Luckily, he normally comes back. I'm not really wanting to uh, get too close to the barriers. I thought that one was a, I, th I, I thought that one was a headshot. So I wanted to conserve ammo. And he's kind of made it difficult by moving around a lot. There we go. Now I'm just going to drop down here. I know I've got some ammo down here. There we go. Pick up my special. By the time I come back, the dogs will either have ran away or they'll be waiting in a, in a group. Either way, if they've ran away, we jump straight up onto the plate and move to the next area. If they're waiting, I'm going to hit them with a grenade and jump up on the plate and go to the next area. See how they're kind of creeping? Now as soon as I jumped up, they started to run. I managed to, as long as you clip an ad, an enemy, we don't really, we're not really going to jump up if they're there. We need them not to be there. I'm just jumping up to see what else is there. And now we'll just, yep, we're clear. And I, that was an accident. That wasn't meant to happen. So we'll jump up on this pipe and then right over onto the plate. And then we're over to the next area. This, the last area before the boss, for my money, is the most difficult simply because of the barriers. The barriers make this last, it's just so bad. They're, they're in a little, most people are quite aware of where these champions are going to be. They're in, in between the two platforms. Everything else is fine, but the barriers are so close together and the patrol zones overlap. That if you don't get the champions in the right place, they will shield each other, run into cover when they take damage, and they will just eat all of your ammunition. Eventually, that will happen. I don't know how many times I got here and that exact thing happened. They just shielded each other and ate through my ammunition. So once you get to this area, what you're going to have is, obviously the boss is going to be up to your left. We're going to have an unstoppable on ground level, we're going to have an unstoppable. We're going to have two elite phalanxes. Up top to our right, we're going to have one phalanx. There's going to be legionaries dotted about. We're going to have those two champions. We're going to have the turrets. There's just so much going on here. So what we're going to do is throw a grenade over onto that phalanx. Because I don't want to waste... I, I literally don't want to waste any ammo. I want to conserve as much ammo as possible at all times so i'm trying to get my grenade back to throw over on one of the elite phalanxes so you'll see that phalanx over there just drop a grenade on them and then i'm going to start just putting them with my hand cannon putting a little bit on the, one of the turrets there we go that one of the scorpius is down and there's the unstoppable now what i'm go going to do is try and conserve ammo as much as possible so you see these kind of things are lit up there. Now I had to back away because he'd already tagged me with fire and solar damage does more in this strike. If you back away down here and he's far enough away, he won't follow you. But if he's already around the corner, sometimes he'll follow you just into the start of there. So now I'm just going to use special because you do get... I found that I got more special here than I did heavy. So you see his antlers are still lit up, now they're down. I'm just going to conserve all the ammunition I can. I'm not bothered if I've got to run away. Time is not a factor. So now I should be able to stop him again. There we go. And I'm just going to put it on him. And as soon as his head lights up, which it has, as soon as he's got that little 
uh, gold dot in front of him, I can finish him. We got we heavy and we special back, so now I'm going to try and take down these turrets. And just make sure that you're always moving away from from damage every time. As soon as you take the majority of the turrets, the boss will go to the next platform. As soon as you do it on the next platform, the boss will go. So we've got another another uh, phalanx, and as you can see, I had a perfectly placed grenade, and the phalanx shot it out the sky. So I'm just we're just whittling down the enemies here because it doesn't matter how well I do here. If I can't take the champions, or so I thought, if I couldn't take the champions, this run was over. Now on stream, which I've been streaming quite a lot over the past two weeks, which I'll address at the end because we're going to have a bit of time to kill at the end. Uh, I, I On stream a couple of times I got here and just was like, yep, yeah, that's the run done. The run is over because I've ran out of ammo here. Probably could have beat this a couple of days ago, actually, because of this thing. So we've took down the last. We've took down the last uh, elite. We just want to make sure there's no ads here. We've got ammo, so we're, you know we're feeling pretty confident. No ads. Now this is the spot. In a second, we're going to go to the spot. I'm going to try and attack the champions from. No. I will add that this from Ezo's original video, this is where I got this from. This is it's the type of clever stuff he comes up with. And there's no arguing from me that this is top notch. That that's that's a pretty top notch grenade. I'm trying to give myself a little bit of leeway. See he's gone now. So we're gonna just I'm just trying to clear ads now. That wasn't such a good grenade. I tried to just drop it over the top there. Now I'm going to jump up here. Now, there, where I'm standing right now, you should be out of firing range from the Colossus. It doesn't matter if they get a look at you. Though. You'll see them try, wanting to ready their gun, but they can't shoot you from here. You're out of their attack radius. See how he's trying to ready? I didn't take the chance. I jumped away anyway. Uh, he was trying to ready his big kind of force gun. And I just never gave him the chance. But he should not be able to shoot you from there. From where I am here, yes, he can shoot me. Because I'm over halfway. But if you're at the if you're at the back end of that frame, he can't shoot you. The unfortunate thing is, there will be a ton of times you'll try and shoot him there that he'll just run away. You have to allow him to lock his position in. The first Cabal, the first Colossus, needs to kind of step away from the other one. <clears throat> needs to step away from the other one. Move forward a little bit, and then it doesn't matter how much damage you do. He can't and won't run away. That was a really good grenade, actually, because I almost took them all. So you can see the Colossus now. They're kind of just standing together. There's one just to the left. I need them to move position. That is why this part, I believe, if, I, if I'd if i have known then what I know now, I would have been past this part probably a quarter of the time. But this took, a, this took quite a bit of time because I needed to get them to move. And they, they, they just refused to move, so I had to go away and get them to reset. As long as I was there, they would just stand and look. So when he moved there, this is what I shouldn't have done. I attacked. We got the big hit. And then I broke his shield. Broke it. Let my Arianas reload. And the other one pushed him in. So I decided... It, it, it didn't matter that this happens so many times. This is just for me, and we'll, as I say, we'll speak more about it at length at the end. 
for me, this is was one of the biggest issues I have with this strike. Even when it first came out as a master, was the barrier champions, they affected each other's position too much. So, I moved away and let them reset their position. If they could see me, they wouldn't reset. They'd just stand staring at me. I'm just trying to get a little look. I've gone right away so that they can't see me now. Hoping that because they couldn't see me, they would go and reset. Time consuming, pain in the backside, but it's what I had to do to get. I found that the position of the, the barrier champions really affected my efficiency against them. I needed them to separate. They had their own patrol zones, their own patterns of patrol. I needed them to follow them. And I needed one. You see them both running back? I needed one exactly where where that one guy is now. I needed him just to the right. I needed him just to the right of there. Again. See him readying his weapon. The minute I go past halfway. So I've just kind of stopped. And I'm attacking him from here. And he runs away. Nothing I can do. Full health again. So now I'm left in a position now. This is exactly where I wanted them to start with. It's right there. So as you can see, I'm on the back right hand corner. And I'm trying to conserve ammunition as much as possible. Just make sure you're hitting those crits. Make sure you allow Arianas to reload. I'm I'm far enough away. See, the other guy came out now and then went back in. I'm far enough away that I shouldn't be... I shouldn't be an immediate threat. So I'm just going to put a couple on. You see how much damage the Ariana does when they're unshielded? And just make sure you give your Ariana a chance to reload. You don't want to put... You don't want to pull it out too quickly. And then it's not reloaded. So I've used up all my heavy. But as you can see. He's dead. So that's the first barrier. That's where he needs to be. So what I done there is. You, just, to, just to recap. I went to, onto the top frame. Back right. And that gave me the angle I needed. Once that barrier champion. Had set himself in the centre of those two pop ups. Those two pop up pillars. He was fair game. Now we've got a Scorpius tank, a Scor uh, Scorpius turret, and there's still some ads over there. Nothing major though, but we've took the turret. Now I'm crouched down at the back here. I'm not wanting to give that. Uh, I'm not wanting to give that Colossus any reason to get aggravated. So we'll put another grenade just to make sure that that's gone. Once once this uh, legionary's gone, there's just some elite. You can see I'm trying I'm trying to get all sorts of damage on. I'm just splash damage from my timed payload. Managed to drop a nice grenade on top, which took him straight away. Now I'm looking at my ammo, and I really don't have a lot. As you can see there, that's all we've got. So I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I'm going to get my super. I'm going to get my super. I don't have any heavy, but I do have full special. And Ariana, the, the kind of the routine you want with Ariana is rocket, three headshots to break the shield, two more on, because that does a, does a lot of damage. And then you've got a rocket launcher without a load and holster. You, you, you should have full, full, uh, full ammo. So you'll see here, happen with super, lots and lots and lots of damage. So I make sure I get two headshots and now manually reload him. Break the shield. Reload. Looking like I'm going to take him. Look. 
looking good. And then done that thing. Ah, that is that mechanic is one of the main reasons why the barrier champions are just just stupid. I was hitting them. I, I logged I logged three two headshots and a couple of bodies. That should have killed them. Now I'm scrambling for for ammo. No ammunition. I I have used up all the reserves. They are really bad at stealing your ammo. And this is where I should have done this to start with. I decided I thought the run was over. So I jumped up here. I knew there was ammo over the other side. Just hopped over here. And now I'm safe from the, from the, the Colossus. He cannot hit me. So I can take these guys down here with grenades. Uh, as a, you know, putting the rift down, as, as you guys know now, helps me get my grenade back a bit faster. And there we go, that's two down. There's one left. I know I've got ammo over there. Am I going to chance it? I should have done this ages ago. And just drop it down there. The last place that I've seen any of the enemies. I'm just grabbing a hold of anything here. And I, that's them, that's all three of them. So I jump down. Danger close. Got 18. And now I'm thinking to myself. What do I do? Do I attack? I couldn't get that heavy. I even went round the other side. And tried to cr crawl right underneath. But the truth of the matter is. You could do that with both barriers. You could you you don't have to fight those two barriers. Clear all the other enemies, jump up on that ship, and you can skip those. You're not going to be doing what I'm doing here because I was just trying to get ammunition. There's still a couple of enemies to take. Now jump back up the chain. We've got thirty special. So what I decided to do was just jump back up on the. On the platform, the barrier can't touch me. Interact, throw a grenade, and and that's that section done. That that is the most difficult for me section in this strike, and it can be bypassed. Just little things like that that I didn't didn't realize. There was one still up. Little things like that I didn't realize that would have made my run so much easier. You can see the barriers come over now because it's. The lift has been activated, but it's too late. Now we're at the boss. So that last section, you probably could skip both those barriers. Now here you really, you really have to watch out. You have to watch out for his snipe. Now, the strategy here is very simple. You need to get his health down to just about... Just over the first health bar. Because he needs to go up to his platform. He needs to go up to his platform. And he needs to put his shield up. If not, he's just going to stay up on his platform. He's got the he's got the height advantage. And he's just going to snipe you. Right, so as you can see, I'm just moving across. I want these turrets down. Now the thing about it is, when you move, the boss moves. Now you can see... I've got a real good line of sight on him because his sniper is so, so uh, unmistakable, unmissable. So we see him, get back over onto the left and use these boxes. What we're going to do is shot after shot after shot, just whittle least health down. You see I'm doing 6,742 6, 6, on a crit, 4,200 on a body. You need to get his health. You'll see what I do here. What I do is I, get, I just keep plugging away at him. I know I've got heavy up there, but I'm saving that for the ship. I'm not bothered about missed grenades or any of that stuff. You can see I'm doing almost a thousand tick damage on him. Grenade does big damage. Take a shot. As soon as he won't, with his snipe, he 
as you see, he doesn't charge it and then uncharge it. He charges, fires, and then he'll recharge. So whenever you see him charge, as soon as he fires, see, I lost sight of him. He's right behind me. <laughs> so you have to be careful because moments like that can make you, as I did in the stream, go, oh, jeez. <laughs> keep, you have to keep, be aware of where he is at all times because, you know, you need to manage his position. That's the best way to put it. So I'm getting him to come back round pretty soon. As you'll see, I'll have done... I've almost took his first health bar away. Now he's going to want to run. Now I've got a super. If he goes up on his platform and you've got nothing to hit him with. Now, as you can see the ads are coming. I thought I was dead here. I've thrown my super. Turn. And I'm trying to get back away. The super done that much. I knew it would if I could hit him. That he's put his shield up. He will no longer snipe me. Now it's just me. The ads. And the ship. So as you can see. I see the ships there. I know I've got heavy ammo. But I just need to make sure. You've got to be really careful. No straight lines. Make sure you're dodging. Make yourself a difficult target. You're. You know as you can see there. If I hadn't been charging my grenade. I was dead. Because they just took the shortcut straight through the centre. I've put my grenade and gave myself a minute. There's the guy I want to kill first. That was complete luck that that happened. The rest of the ads, really easy to take down. They're not very difficult at all. So I've picked up that heavy. I've got three rockets, auto-load and holster. Now, sometimes this ship, and you'll, you'll see here, I, I actually got tracking on that and completely missed. So this time... I never waited for tracking. There we go. The ship's down. Now it's just me, us, and a couple of ads. Now I'm going to put grenades. I'm going to do what I can to get out of here and take ads down the way I don't have to face them. Because let's be honest, the primaries that we're running with in these strikes, it's a ridiculous for a solo player anyway. And, and, and to be fair, a lot of teams are going to struggle with stuff like this. So, there we go. And that is the last ad. <clears throat> but because, because we've we've we we've, we've got uh, no radar. I'm not sure if it is the last. So, I'm not taking anything for granted. I am gonna keep checking and making sure I am here alone with the boss because. I said during my stream, and I stand by this, if Bungie are going to limit us to double primary and heavy to do the hardest missions in the game, then I do not mind re-employing a strategy that I've, I've only ever used it on a video once, and that was during the Prestige Nightfall, when the Prestige, back in Destiny 2 Year 1. And it's, it's there for all you see. I've beat this tons of times actually killing all the ads but to be fair with the weapons that we're doing these with i don't even class this as a cheese i don't class it as a cheese i class this as well if you're going to make us run double hand cannon and heavy i'm just going to kill him when he's in his bubble so once you get to this point as long as you throw vortex grenades which i'm obviously i'm on my warlock as long as you throw those grenades right underneath him on the position he's he's at you'll damage him in his bubble and you'll kill him there and that that's it if you can clear those ads we've got to this point if you can clear those ads and just throw grenades up at the platform underneath directly underneath where he is that's the end of the run so i i did feel I'm going to, I suppose I'm lying a little bit. I did feel a little bit cheap for doing this. As I say, I've done it once before in a prestige, but I just, this is where I give my, th my kind of thoughts on the Grandmaster. I haven't spoke about the Grandmaster at all. Not on videos. 
ever since Shadowkeep came out, I haven't been a fan of the ordeal. I feel as if it's just, it's like flogging a dead horse. You know, it's, it didn't even breathe new life into Nightfalls. It just made decent activities that maybe have become a little bit stale. The card had definitely made it, you know, heavy, heavy doing more damage and stuff. That that was it. That wasn't. It became. It became a joke. Nightfalls became a joke. But the champions and with Shadowkeep with these champions, became really restrictive after the first season. Having to take down barrier champions and overload champion, overload champions with full auto weapons when they teleport, you couldn't put the shots on them. Having to run it with double primary, really restrictive. The content that I've put out this year probably hasn't been nearly as good as what I put out last year because of the amount of content I haven't put out because I haven't enjoyed the challenges this year and it's not because they're difficult, it's because they're pointless. I mean, Grandmaster Nightfalls, without a reward, without without a, a, a palatable or an aspirational reward, this is not aspirational content. This is, we've got nothing else to give you, so here's something for the streamers. You know, they did say that this wouldn't give you anything past the first completion, and it was built as a watchable event. So... I probably won't do too many more solo Grandmasters. I want one under my belt. And yet, I know some people are going to go, oh yeah, cheesy. Listen, I soloed the accurate solo. You know, I could have took the ads out, but if they're going to, you know, I feel like this is just, it's it's about as, it's about as challenging as them giving us double primaries. So um, I know I've said that a few times and anybody that's followed the channel for long enough will know I'm not normally salty about these things. Anybody that's been watching the streams will know I've said it on stream. I just feel like we've lost my way a little bit with the challenge side of Destiny. And not from a solo point of view. I feel like from the game point of view, I feel like it's the content that for something to be watchable, it needs to be playable. And I feel like the Grandmaster caters to a, a very small section of the Destiny community. So it should never have been advertised on the roadmap as universal content. Because it was never universal content. But this is basically the end of the run, guys. There's eight minutes left. I'm going to take this opportunity to thank everybody that's been watching me do this live. That come onto the streams. And there's a few people that have supported me unbelievably uh desert dog i'm gonna give them a shout out because i said on stream i would and you know i'm a man of my word i want to thank desert dog i want to fa thank eric bunnykins leroy i want to thank Faye. i want to thank robert uh i'm missing people out but there was just so many people who showed love and you know really really came through and and uh david i, I want to thank if, you know and anybody i've missed i'm sure you'll let me know in chat that i missed you thank you very much for just supporting the channel the channel's not going anywhere but the streams might be i've been streaming a lot on my channel recently and i think we're gonna go to twitch so if you haven't already you should go and check out the twitch channel i hope you guys have enjoyed this i am going to try and get more content onto the channel i want to move away from streaming on the channel and get it back to being a video channel so i know some people follow the channel and they, they're not really interested in the streams so that's why i'm going to be moving them to twitch i always said the streams were exploratory you know i just wanted to work get comfortable with streaming in, in an environment that i you know felt secure about doing it in whilst whilst the grandmaster nightfalls are about I, i'm not really doing a lot of 100ks because let's be honest i've done them all there's no other 100ks to do so the streaming as part of it you can find me streaming every single night if you want to just come and say hi or you know show some support uh, i will link my twitch channel in the description i'm going to be starting up a discord 
as soon as I get the Discord on the go, I will share it in the community tab so everybody gets a chance. If they want to come and join, share their thoughts on the game, any tips, all of that stuff. And yeah, I'm probably the same as all the rest of you guys now. I'm waiting for next season. Next season is what I'm waiting for. All the, is is that is Io going to blow up? Are they actually going to get rid of Mercury? It'd be a great way to drop the file size uh, if they're not because it looks after the twab it looks like there's not going to be a Destiny three next year. That's a mistake in my eyes. But hey, what do I know? I don't develop games, so so I don't end up rambling like this as a stream. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I hope. I hope that this cheesy ending hasn't put you off the strategy. The strategy sound I've developed over three days in front of all the subscribers. I hope you were, you guys were there. And uh, again, thank you very much for supporting the channel. It's not going anywhere, neither am I. We're just going to move the streams away. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> this is literally, it's went on forever. <laughs> this ending has went on forever. I can't believe that I'm still throwing grenades. One thing I should say about the grenade throwing thing is, don't stay under the platform, because when he dies, you'll die as well. That's why I've moved away. I'm throwing them from an angle. Make sure you keep checking his position. And that's... That's the end of the run. Uh... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope, I hope it's not been too bad with this ending. I kind of, I kind of, as I say, I kind of don't feel bad about doing it. You know, as bad as bad as that sounds, because normally you guys know me. I don't do cheeses. You know, but I feel like. I feel like the Grandmaster Nightfall is the best advertisement for Ammo Synth we've ever had in the game. This shows that the ammo econ the ammo economy isn't isn't great in Destiny. It isn't. Even though you've got heavy and special ammo finder and heavy and special ammo sca scavenger, there were plenty of times I killed a whole host of enemies and dropped nothing. Three bricks of primary. So, even the mods don't work properly. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, now I'm watching this alongside you guys, because I'm like, was I really just standing here for this long foam grenades? Long, a long strike as well. Uh, really long mission. But, what can I say? I mean, I can't put World's First Console Run. <laughs> But it is the world's first live-streamed solo Grandmaster, I believe. Which is pretty cool. Another thing that somebody pointed out to me was they were quite surprised at the rewards I got. I think it might be because of the score and the amount of time it took me. I wasn't too bothered about the rewards. But I literally got three blues. I didn't even get a legendary. Which... My, my achievement was getting the was actually getting the achievement getting the triumph that was all I was interested in just to say not only did I do a, a grandmaster but the first grandmaster I'd done I'd done solo I probably would have given last week's a better go if I'd have had uh, the anarchy and I probably I reckon I might have got I reckon I might have been able to do Insight Terminus if I'd have started before Sunday. But I can't see me doing any more of them solo. We'll see what happens, obviously. It's all good content. But I just, there's no point in doing it. And the Conqueror title was just the worst title I've ever heard. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the run. As you can see, the boss has got nothing left. There he goes. I did get boots. And 32 warming bits, can't forget that. Uh, 
I hope this may be showing you that there's other ways to get past some of this stuff and I hope you guys didn't disapprove too much of the grenade thrown thing. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video.